You know, I, I wanted to ask you, of course, uh, of course, about Idaho's abortion laws, the, the trigger laws and the ones that are going to be in front of the Idaho Supreme Court, uh, specifically the one where prosecutors can prosecute a doctor who has performed an abortion. Is this a workable law? How will prosecutors know if a pregnancy uh, is valid under Idaho's law? Well, as I, in my, uh, when I, in my trans, mission letter, uh, when I sent it back, I said, I, there, there's some issue, you know, I've been, uh, I've always been pro-life and I'm still pro-life, but there, there's some, we've got two different lawsuits that are gonna be in front of the Supreme Court this month. We've also got things happen at the national level. So there's a lot of things in, in flux and, and we'll have to see. I am concerned about that very question you asked about in a state with the least amount of uh, uh, doctors and even and particularly pediatric doctors in rural areas uh, we've got to make certain that the unintended consequences because I'm 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 pro-life and that includes the, the the life of the mother and I'm very concerned about it if we have an exodus of, of good trained pediatric physicians so why'd you sign the law well I signed it because I was pro-life and I says we're gonna have to work some of these things out we had an idea uh, that Roe was gonna be, the Dobbs decision was gonna trump over the top of, of Roe, but we didn't know what all the details are and we still don't know, and we've got these two lawsuits. If the new legislature that's coming in in 23, if they pass a ban on IUDs, would you sign it? I, I, we'll, we'll, have, we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, uh, uh, I, you know, I obviously, uh, birth control uh, is is a is a totally different uh, area than than a, a fetal heartbeat situation you know, if if there are more births in Idaho as a result of this law and and if the court says that it can go into place uh, is the state prepared to support these families it, it, we should have been doing it anyway uh, and but now we're gonna this is gonna predicate us doing more uh, you're familiar with all the good work we did in foster care because we had some real problems in foster care. Adoptions, mother support, uh, foster care, every one of those areas, uh, which is the right thing to do, uh, we will implement in Idaho. We will, you know, I'll have to sit down with the legislature, have to sit down with the Board of Health and Welfare about what we can do to, to be as supportive as possible of, of uh, mothers and situations that are difficult for them. We've been playing catch up with foster care through no part or through no fault of the social workers who have been working so hard. Um, is this going to be too little too late? No, no, I, I don't believe so. But I mean, it, it, it's going to highlight the issue. Uh, it's going to make it, it's going to make it uh, more important than that's, but that's, that, that's a good thing. And, and it dovetails a little bit with uh, what we're doing in the behavioral health area about what kind of support services uh, we provide to everyone, but particularly these mothers that are having challenging situations.